<laughs> Some moments just perfectly encapsulate a character. Unbeknownst to her at the time, this is the highest point Sally Reed's career will ever reach. And the exciting and terrifying realization that her dreams seem to be becoming a reality causes her to just stand in front of a crowd, weeping with happiness and cycling through a range of emotions without saying anything. It's a raw display that feels like it's straight out of her acting class. Moments like this don't happen in isolation, they have to be consistent with the character, and that can only be enabled by an amazing performer. Sarah Goldberg was a jobbing theatre actor throughout her 20s, until she was nominated for an Olivier in 2011. But despite that success, her film and TV career was still struggling to get off the ground, only occasionally landing a role in a smaller production or popping up in major blockbusters like The Dark Knight Rises as the iconic analyst number one. But it was in 2018, at the age of 33, that she would land her breakthrough role as Sally Reed in HBO's Barry. Creator and star Bill Hader saw something in Sarah, and didn't just hand her a script to learn, he wanted her to help build this character from the ground up. And the idea was kind of to workshop the character. He was like, we don't know who she is yet, so come in and, and help us. And that I felt I could do, because that feels like theater. This is why for anyone that's ever worked in film or attended an acting class, there's something simultaneously fresh and familiar about Sally. She's bright, optimistic and open, but also desperately insecure, hungry for validation, and easily jealous. When you strip away the set, the camera, and crew, a lot of what actors do looks kinda silly, like a kid playing dress up. But Sarah somehow finds not just the humor in these humbling moments by playing them with the utmost sincerity, she also exhibits the true power of what an actor can manifest. This character was so important to get right, because in a show all about acting, someone needs to be able to showcase the craft properly. Not just to poke fun, but to understand. While Barry is emotionally closed and Cousineau is consistent comic relief, Sarah's emotional transparency made Sally the heartbeat of the series. So let's take a deeper look at what made this performance so captivating. The first key is fake it till you make it. Everyone in Barry is a liar or a fake, in some form or another. But Sally's character has to navigate the realities of Hollywood, as a struggling actor. But despite how she may have to lie or pretend to curry favour, Sarah always gives us insight into what the character is truly feeling with her layered performance. One of the most striking examples of this is in the first season, when she wants an agent to sign her. He runs lines with her and tells her he thinks she can book this part. Sarah releases this glowing smile, and we can feel her character's enthusiasm as finally someone is helping her make her dreams come true. But he tells her he comes to this point with clients where he has a decision to make. Do I want to sign them or do I want to fuck them? The joy evaporates from her face as she comes to terms with what he just said. She almost speaks but waits and we see his unflinching expression staring back at her. She does the noble thing and rejects him, saying she wants to keep it professional. But notice how Sarah highlights her character's internal distress by blinking excessively as she processes what just happened, notably unable to even make eye contact with him, looking down as if she's oppressed and at his mercy. And now we're given a lesson in Hollywood power dynamics. With the two options he presented, sign her or have sex with her, he's clearly hoping she would say, why not both? as he knows she needs an agent, and that's the only way they both get what they want. But instead of reacting honestly to her rejection, the agent now claims he was totally joking, gaslighting her and putting her on the back foot. So she ends up apologizing to him, because she needs his help, so she has to remain polite and act like she appreciates his joke. <laughs> it's funny. Sorry about that. <laughs> But if we compare the genuine glowing smile she started with, just look at how broken and lost she feels now. Unsure what to believe, this uncomfortable tug of war going back and forth inside her. 
But no matter what, she has to keep wearing that fake smile. As if she offends him, there may be repercussions down the line. If you just read the dialogue, the scene could be interpreted as a funny miscommunication, but the layer Sarah adds to it makes it this raw, uncomfortable experience, as she feels every second of his manipulative ploy. Another example of these complex power dynamics is when Sally is excited that she has an audition and she was apparently requested by name. This gives her a lot of confidence going in, but when she gets there, she discovers that her friend got her the audition as she's playing the lead. This friend is being a classic Hollywood fake and laughing a lot, so Sally has no choice but to mirror her. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, you're the lead? It's your... <laughs> wow! Wow! As you can see, Sarah originally plays this scene comedically, as the only real issue is her character's jealousy taking hold. So she physically plays two levels at once, panic in her eyes while the rest of her is fawning with a fake smile and laugh. But then the tone changes. The friend whispers that casting thought Sally was totally wrong for this, but that she insisted they gave her a chance anyway. This changes everything. Now it's looking like she wasn't brought in here because of her talent but because her old pal just wanted to show off her new success and make Sally feel small in the process. Why else would she be telling her that casting thought she was wrong for this right before she auditions? With all of this processing inside her, let's look at how Sarah plays it. They did not think you were right, mm -hmm. but I want for you mm -hmm. because I really, really, really want you to get this. Thank you. <laughs> It's a simple choice, but Goldberg now takes on the mannerisms of a trapped prisoner, which she highlights by clenching her mouth shut, knowing she has to just shut up and listen, as she has no leverage in this conversation. All that confidence and enthusiasm gets sucked out of her, as her eyes communicate her internal panic. On the surface her friend did her a favour, so she has to act grateful for the other witnesses in the room. But sandwiched between that false premise is Sally battling a mix of emotions. Jealousy, betrayal, confusion, embarrassment. Mm -hmm. The series is littered with moments like this, where Goldberg is tasked with finding the underlying truth while maintaining a surface lie to keep her Hollywood dreams alive. This leads directly into the next key, emotional transparency. I'm not sure I've ever seen a more open and raw performance than Sally Reed, but being so open also makes you incredibly vulnerable in an industry like this. Pursuing her dreams is an emotional nightmare. Both of the aforementioned scenes end with Sally in floods of tears, and so does the first scene we meet her. Watching anyone cry instinctively makes us want to protect them, but because of Barry's trademark long takes, we get a chance to see Goldberg's emotions naturally form internally before battling their way to the surface. For instance, when she's being cancelled online for an explosive freakout that we'll take a look at later, just watch the emotions stir inside her as she can feel her dreams being stolen away. Medusa sent it to me. They're dropping you. They don't feel like someone who talks like this belongs in their room. There are so many little things Sarah is doing here that really connects us to how she's feeling. Firstly, her breathing. This is sent it to me. They're dropping you. They don't feel like someone who talks like this belongs in their room. We hear these strained breaths escaping as we see her wanting to speak but unable to find any words. Second, the way her grip on her phone loosens and it slides down her chest subtly suggests that internally she's collapsing to the floor making her feel right on the edge. And third, her eye. Notice that just her right eye is twitching as tears gradually begin to build, and makes whatever emotion Sarah is conveying feel much more authentic, as if her body's reactions are completely out of her control. But the most striking example of raw emotion is at the end of season 3, when Sally kills someone in self-defence. Barry cups her face in his hands and offers to take the fall. Now if Goldberg was anything other than excellent, this moment could easily be underwhelming and forgettable. But instead... I did this. Okay? I did this. 
Who did this? I did this. No, I did this. This is as good as a take as I could possibly imagine. Genuinely the most realistic representation of Shuck I've ever seen. These little micro movements around her face as her entire body trembles. Her eyes are coated in tears. There are so many thoughts chasing through her head. The feeble whimpering sounds squeaking out of her throat, not even able to form words. <laughs> and although he's trying to take responsibility, she initially says, I did this, as if that agonizing reality is really hitting her. Who did this? I did this. No, I did this. And then gradually Barry coaxes the correct words out of her. Mary did this. Mary did this. Mary did this. And somehow, the first time she finally repeats the sentence properly, now the tear that's been hanging on her eyelid escapes down her cheek, as if it's signaling the next beat of the character's progression. She's ready to live the lie. This is next level acting. People have legitimately won Oscars for less. And now we come to the final key, explosive anger. Sally isn't just a helpless victim the whole time. When an emotive character bottles up their emotions for too long, those negative feelings have to go somewhere. Part of the reason Sarah is perfectly cast is that although she can play a raw emotion perfectly straight, she has a natural comedic instinct that colours each scene. For instance, in season 4, when she discovers Barry as a serial killer, she goes from emotionally vulnerable to demonic rage I was there. What the actual to a sudden comedic turn, as if she's doing improv on stage. Oh my god, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! <sighs> but it all just naturally flows from one extreme to the next, making her character an unpredictable emotional mess. But the classic Sally Reed outburst is when she explodes with jealousy at her former friend and assistant Natalie. It starts in her hands, just lightly trembling with rage as she gets closer and closer, claiming she stole her show. Then as the anger takes over, her hands rattle like crazy, preparing the audience for what's to come next as Sally becomes increasingly hysterical. Goldberg's delivery in this scene is reminiscent of Sally Fields in Mrs. Doubtfire. The whole time, the, the whole time you would, the whole time! Except instead of a quick flash of anger, it just keeps getting deeper and more demonic. Just look at this image. Completely red in the face. You have to hand it to her. Sarah holds nothing back. And while most freakouts are done with some distance between the actors, usually so they have room to be overly physical, the closer Sarah gets to her co-star, the more intensely unhinged she becomes, screaming with her mouth wide open right in her face, inches apart. It takes a special kind of actor to go this hard, as let's be honest, there's nothing flattering about this performance. Taking the ugliest feelings she can conjure deep inside and just vomiting them up on screen for our amusement. Barry was a show with a lot to admire, the cinematography, the humour, the layered character writing. But given it's a show about acting, the cast really needed to commit to each scene and deliver every step of the way. And through her portrayal of Sally Reed, an emotional actor desperately trying to burrow her way into Hollywood, Sarah Goldberg has easily put together the most dynamic showreel of the entire class. And see. Well, if you've made it this far, firstly, thank you for watching. But if you could now give the video a like, possibly even leave a comment and click on that subscribe button, it will encourage that mysterious algorithm to do its thing. And if you want to support the channel personally, you can check out my Patreon.